In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the A record <clears throat> in your uh, domain name. So what we're doing here is we're going to, you've got a domain name that you own, i.e. technologyforcoaches.com is my domain name. And you'll be changing the A record because you've likely just got a new website and you need to point your domain name to the new website. This example is GoDaddy. And if you need help in any other domains, let us know at Technology for Coaches and we'll record you a video specifically for yours or send you instructions on the how-to. So in GoDaddy, what we do is we go to the all products. So this is me logged in on my GoDaddy. So you log in on your GoDaddy, go to the products, go to domains, and then over here is domain management. So what we do is click on domain management, the page loads, and what we have here is then a list of domains. Okay, so let's just assume that I'm looking to um, change the leverage guy. Okay, so what I do is I click on leverage guy and up comes the details. And what we're next going to do is click on the DNS zone file here and up comes the details here. Okay, what we can see here and we've got a button, an edit button here. But if you're ever looking for your um, domain details to change, whether it's the A record, here's the A record here, um, or whether you need to do any C names, which is here, or if you ever change your email, probably to Google or something similar that I'd recommend, then this is your MX records here, MX. So these, this is the place you would come to in your DNS zone file to make any changes in future. So we'll just click edit and up comes this page. And now we have this page here and it says premium we don't need to worry about this up here. So now what we want to do here, the A record, if you already have an A record in here, then there will be um, likely there'll be the at sign in the host and then there'll be an IP address. And the IP address is a very specific address that points to a very specific server somewhere in the world. And that's where your website is being hosted. So you will likely have a new IP address. So all you need to do is edit it and put the details in. If you're like this one here and you don't have anything, we'll do quick add, I click on quick add. I'll put the at sign in. Okay, the at sign just references that we're going back to leverage guy. Okay, and then we put in the IP address in here. So in this instance, I'll just make one up 150.50.123.125.25. Because it's four sets of numbers. I click on save. You're about to save it, yep. And it says here, usually take an hour, it may take up to 48 hours. It tells you that on the screen, you click OK. And now that's gonna make that change. And that now, if you type in leverageguy.com, it's gonna try and point it to this address, which I've just made up, so it's not going to work. But that's now in place as an A record. The other thing you're going to want to see, it's already in GoDaddy, they do it well here with dub 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 here. Point to the main one. Okay. Point to that leverage guy. Dub dub dub. Okay. And so if you wanted to change it, I could just come back here, click on this. It opens up again. I can make the changes. Click save and I'm done. If you have a live website, when you make this change, it's going to point to the new one. That's the point where you switch over from one website to another. Okay. For information. Um, so when you make this change, it will end within an hour. You've made the change and you're done. If you have any questions at all, just come back to us through the support channels. Look forward to helping. Bye for now.